most of my Jazzy Gamers, how we all doing? I want to thank you guys for 700 subs! 300 away from being able to get monetized is pretty effing awesome. Yeah, while editing it went up to 800. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. It means a lot that a whole bunch of you have came to my channel because of those terrible videos. So basically, in celebration of 700 and just me making videos again, I want to rank every single Fortnite concert. Big shout out to Smackos Z0702 for this amazing idea, so I will be using it. I hope you stay effin' jazzy, my gamer. Oh yeah, and I have to have that disclaimer! These are my opinions! If you don't agree, argue with me in the comments. Which you have been doing, so I appreciate the comments. Y yeah, just... Whatever. When I think of Fortnite concerts, I think of this, like, kind of grand event to go to. So, I only counted the ones that were significant enough to be an event that you go to. So, I didn't really count the Party Royale concerts, because they were just, you know, just Party Royale. And I didn't count the weird State Farm Park things. Like, what even were those but i did count the soundwave series concerts because again those were creative maps but they weren't specifically in party royale or a weird other creative map so let's just get into it so at number 12 we got the tones and i soundwave series concert and i know i'm biased but i just did not enjoy this at all the majority of it was just running around through shit collecting notes and being in the most barren wastelands. I mean, sometimes it did have some cool imagery, like with all the doors and shit. Like, I really liked that whole keyhole section. But then, you're just in the desert, just standing there, and it's just boring. And then you're just in this random spooky house, just looking at a screen of them playing, and this took way too long. And not gonna lie, I hate the way she sings. I honest to god it hurts my ears i have that specific memory of turning down my volume during one of the parts just to collect the music notes so i didn't have to endure through her awful music so that's my bias but i just did not enjoy any you know anything really so definitely at the bottom fuck dance monkey at number 11 we got the aya nakamura concert in the soundwave series i totally butchered her name i'm sorry this concert was a million times better than the Tones and I concert, but it kind of had the same thing with the Soundwave series where it was just, wow, look at a screen. Wow, go to the next room. Wow, go to the next area. Collect a note. Look at the screen again. It, it wasn't that bad. It just left no impression on me, and it wasn't that grand of an experience. So, number 11, I guess, again, I don't even, I don't know. At number 10, we got Gen Hoshino's concert. If the last one was, wow, go to the next room, wow, collect a note. This concert was just, wow, stay in the same area, but do different things all around it. The only reason I placed it higher was because his music is such a bop, man. I know I'm biased because I love Japanese music, but holy crap, his music was just such a vibe that... I found myself just chilling there, listening to the song and bobbing my head, just absolutely entranced. But yeah, number 10. Again, not that crazy of an experience. Then rounding out the Soundwave series, we got Emicida at number 9. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And although his concert was also just, wow, look at the screen with him performing, wow, run around areas, wow, collect music notes. I would just say it's a little, it's a smidge better, just a little smidge better. Even though I like Gen Hoshino's music a little more, I feel like his was a little more interactive, I guess. So, eh, number nine, fair enough, right? And number eight, we got the most recent Carol G concert, and I just, I'm just so goddamn conflicted with this one. This has got to be one of the most randomest and weirdest concerts in all of Fortnite. This was just such a weird experience. I felt like I was on acid the entire goddamn time. Like, we're in a train. Oh, we died to a shark. Oh, Carol G's here. Now she's on a car? We're racing now, I guess? And then we're dancing again, and then sharks show up again. It's just so bizarre. And then all of a sudden, she's dancing, and then we're on a giant river, and we have to blast green sharks. G yeah. I, I, this makes sense. 
I'll be honest, it's getting number 8 on the list because it does have good interactability. Like, again, this shit is random and weird, but at least you're doing stuff aside from standing there and emoting the most of the time, you know what I mean? The effects were fine, and it did feel like a live event, but is anyone else weirded out by her character model? Like, it's not just me, right? It feels very, very strange as well. Like, her face is a little messed up compared to the actual skin, and the way that her model is moving, it just doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? And why is her ass so big? Like, it, it's not just me! Guys, I swear it's not just me. Look at her model. It was just weird. The whole thing was just weird I'm just glad we got a free instrument out of it. Dear Lord I would never want to attend this acid trip ever again now This will be controversial, but at number seven. I have to put Eminem's concert. I know guys I know I love Eminem and I love Eminem and Fortnite and it was so cool the way that he introduced Fortnite festival and again, I get that he was part of a bigger event that also showed off the rocket racing and the Lego mode, but I feel like we could have had a way bigger concert with Eminem. We only got to listen to two songs, which was Lose Yourself, which by the way is still not a jam track, and Godzilla, which I admit the Godzilla part was actually pretty cool. I really enjoyed that visual of Eminem destroying the world as a giant monster. Like, so many of those frames were just awesome wallpaper material, and I really enjoyed listening to Godzilla. But as soon as Eminem started getting up in your face, it was kind of awkward to watch. Like, all you see was just this giant Marshall Mathers, and it was just so weird. But I still appreciate that we got Eminem in Fortnite. It just wasn't one of the better concerts. I, again, don't get me wrong, guys. I love Eminem, and I love Godzilla. And his rap part is just so unbelievably amazing. But this was just a weaker concert compared to the other live event concerts. Now, number six, this was an event that I personally forgot about. And it was the Easy Life B concert back in Chapter 2, Season 7. After rewatching it and remembering this concert, not gonna lie, it wasn't half bad at all. It had some of those Soundwave concert-ass things like, oh, go to this area, watch a screen, go to this area. But this one was a little more chill, and it was one of the first of its kind. Like, this music was extremely, extremely chill, and you even got that free music pack, which was pretty much a W. Overall, I can't say anything bad about this little concert, just because it's it's not bad at all. It doesn't do anything remarkable, like the, the next one's coming up, but it's pretty good. It had some okay imagery and some pretty okay interactivity, and overall, it was just pretty chill. So, middle of the list is pretty fine. Now at number 5, we got the Ariana Grande concert. Looking back at my footage, this was just such a weird ass concert. Not weirder than Carol G's, but still pretty damn weird. And Ariana Grande wasn't even the only music artist. At the very beginning, you got Juice World playing his song, Come and Go, as you're sliding through this weird, goopy area with the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men. Then all of a sudden you fly in and boom, you're in troll pube land. Like, it was so weird, but hey, you got the free umbrella. But the one thing I did love was the new animation for twirling and spinning in the air. I don't know what it was, just being bouncy and twirling was really fun to me. And if you thought the Ariana Grande concert needed a freaking plane shooter, then you guys were in hella luck. Like, you were shooting against the Storm King and it was really fun, but... WHY THE HELL WAS THIS HERE?! But I won because I am a beast. But then it gets into this whole weird section where you're getting revived by a bunch of Fortnite skins and then you're rezzing Bright Bomber and you're just having this wonderful glorious moment and then that's when Ariana Grande shows up. And not gonna lie, when she shows up that's when the concert goes kinda downhill. I know it's just my bias, but I wasn't excited to see her at all. And not gonna lie, her music wasn't that great. <clears throat> but music bias aside, after she shows up, it just kind of slows down. Like, there's not enough interactivity between all the stuff. It's mainly just, wow, bounce around, wow, fly around, wow, walk up a lot of stairs. Seriously, I hate the stair part. I don't know what it is, but just going up the stairs, watching her go up the stairs, it was so boring. But the finale was pretty good, like, I love the whole galaxy theme, and again, bouncing and twirling around was a lot of fun for me. The effects all around in this concert were pretty dang good, and definitely live event worthy, but compared to the other ones next up coming, 
This one was just the weaker of the actual live ones. Even though I'm super biased, I still thought it was a fun time. Oh yeah, at the very end, I spent a long time going through all the unicorn rings as well. So, that was semi-fun. So I think number five is definitely what this concert deserves. Now at number four, we got the Tiddler... Wait. What, what the hell just happened? Wait, where'd my video go? Wait a minute. I can't control... I can't... I can't control shit. What's going on? <coughs> it's time to get out of here, bro. It's over. It's all me now. No! I don't take over my video! Please! No! Take over my No! <laughs> anyway, at number four, I put the Kid Leroy's concert. Now, right at the beginning, I thought this concert was going to be dog shit. Like, just seeing him land from loot boxes and just be on TV screens in this weird city was kind of terrible. I did not enjoy the beginning of it. But then it started ramping up a little bit. When the Kid Leroy actually, you know, invites you into my humble home. It started getting pretty fun because he gave you a sledgehammer so you can smash the shit out of his humble home. And then landing in the city and getting chased by the giant lava dog was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed just running and sprinting parkouring through that entire city. And the interactivity didn't stop because there was this little weird mini game where you had to click the circles. And then this is like the stair part in Ariana Grande's, but you're actually parkouring up all these stairs. And the visuals are actually really nice. I enjoyed Kid Leroy floating to the very top as I'm running around these stairs. Or these weird wooden platforms at least. And then Loki was not expecting an actual boss fight with that same lava hound. And it was pretty cool because I really like love again. So it was a nice little part. And then the end was my favorite because it turned itself into an actual concert with a lot of people around. And you were flying around hitting beach balls and just seeing him perform. And it was overall a pretty good time. This concert was definitely a weird one. But overall... It had some good merit to it, and it was also around for a couple months, so anytime you wanted, you could have just went in and played the Kid Leroy concert, so I replayed it a lot. But yeah, just because of that and everything I talked about, I think it definitely deserves number four, and he's also the reason that my boy Cole is now the Fortnite Leroy, so shout out to the gamer for becoming Fortnite Leroy. And thanks for making us appreciate this guy's music. Now at number three, I put Marshmello's concert. Now, I know it didn't really age well. It's literally just a stage in Pleasant Park, but you gotta appreciate the simplicity and the fact that it was truly the first Fortnite concert. Like the amount of nostalgia boners that every chapter one season seven player is getting pretty much makes this deserving of number three. But not for real though, this felt like Party Royale before Party Royale became Party Royale. Just all these random skins coming together, emoting together, doing sprays, doing these toys, and then Marshmallow coming out doing all these fun effects, and then you just bouncing randomly. It just felt so grand for its time. And then you had Travis Scott who just blew up all that proportion, rose the bar so high, but we'll talk about that later. Nostalgia boner aside, this was just overall pretty fun too. It was really fun seeing Marshmello on the stage and actually going up to the stage, bouncing around and then him dropping those yellow balls it was also, you know, it was pretty sweet. It was, it, again, it's nothing compared to today, but for the time, it was just so fun. And Marshmallow's music brings that whole DJ playing to an entire audience as the audience is raising their hands, having fun kind of vibe. True dance party vibes. Can't really say that for Ariana Grande. So I think it deserves number three, but again, that's just my opinion. If you guys disagree, please tell me in the comments and please start some nice jazzy discussions. At number two, we got the Metallica concert. Right at the start, you are put in essentially rocket racing to race to the actual concert. And then it pulls the marshmallow thing where you're actually just watching the guys on stage performing. And then it teleports you to this giant place and you see these giant bells swinging back and forth and you have to parkour your way across those bells as for whom the bell tolls is playing. Then again, it's like Ariana Grande where you're going up all these stairs, but you have to keep bouncing off of the freaking 
things of the clock as you see the guys hardcore jamming. And then you open a portal and see a little glimpse at the Puppet Master. But then you're quite literally riding the lightning to ride the lightning. And you just see the silhouettes of the guys in the fog as you jump between each fret string on the guitar trying to engulf some lightning. Then all of a sudden it becomes a shooter and you actually have to kill this giant creepy puppet master. And holy shit, we're not even done. And then you're teleported to this giant ass freaking concert area trying to go down the stairs to finally meet them back on stage finish performing and guys i'm sorry my boner is so huge for this concert because the effects were freaking phenomenal the interactivity was there it kept leaving you on your toes and you barely had a second to just chill and emote and the fact that the music so perfectly matched what was happening was just amazing like again for the bell tolls you're just going across a whole bunch of different bells and going up a clock ride the lightning you're quite literally riding lightning and then the master of puppets you're killing the puppet master and then they finish it off with enter sandman and it was just very freaking sweet as a metallica fan this was just so unbelievably amazing but as a newcomer to metallica this should have just gotten your freaking adrenaline pumping because there was so much going on all at once and it was just a, an entire thrill ride. If this concert doesn't deserve number two, then I don't know what it deserves because obviously it doesn't deserve number one. We'll get into it in a sec. But if this is truly the future of the Fortnite Festival concerts, then we are in real good hands. But again, Carol G kind of disproved that. But this concert was just so unbelievably amazing and we got to play it multiple times. It was sweet. Definitely number two. I'm going to give you guys a quick headphone warning for this next part because, dear God, I am passionate. But, guys, wh what can I say? Tr Travis Scott. Travis motherfucking Scott had the best concert in all of Fortnite and probably all of the future concerts as well. Because how in God's name are they going to top this phenomenal concert? At first, it was nothing. It's like, oh, a stage, and then he's gonna show up. But as soon as that giant planet-sized music thing comes out of the sky, I was just shocked. I was like, holy crap, that's actually really cool. He's just gonna make his appearance like that? But then the giant purple light beam of energy comes out and drops down and everyone flies up as you see this giant behemoth Travis Scott and he starts going crazy to sickle mode. As soon as I saw that he was giant, I knew that this concert was going to slap so unbelievably hard. All of a sudden, the man is bigger than the world itself and starts walking around and then he grabs two sparks of light, smashes them together, and then there's this giant flash of light, and then the entire thing changes to fire! The slowly starts changing, and you see these roller coasters and everything in the background, and the freaking sky is lit up with shooting stars! The man starts glitching out and jumps, and immediately it goes to goosebumps, and the entire scene changes again! A whole color palette swamp! And then the colors change even more to all these crazy neon lights flashing everywhere! If you guys got seizures, I'm sorry, because this was legitimately a light show beyond your comprehension! Then Travis finishes up his part, falls over, and then all of a sudden, we're in water, he changes to Astro Jack, and you see giant skull troopers swimming around everywhere. Then we're not even done with Astro Jack because moments later, it goes into the Drake part of sickle mode. Then he spins everybody around with these crazy lights. The planet makes some crazy lights once again. And then we're in space. You see a giant flash of light, a shooting star go across your head. And then you see him on the planet singing the scouts. You just saw the entire concert become intergalactic! Then one final time, as you're floating through space, you see the giant music planet and the 
freaking Astro Jack is walking across it to the hardest part of the scout, and then the entire planet starts to surge with energy and start to freaking crumble to dust. Then it freaking explodes into this giant ray of white light. Then at the speed of light, you are traveling into the light as you see the rift butterfly itself flash and fade to white. <clears throat> I apologize. I was not expecting to scream out of my mind about this concert. I've watched it before and I got really hyped about it. It was really amazing. But going through each individual section like that just truly makes me believe that this is definitely the best concert. The effects are second to none. No other concert has been able to match the level of effects that this concert truly brings. And granted, you're not shooting anything or doing a mini game. You're just watching Travis. But he brings the absolute hype with every single switch of effects and every single switch of song. And guys, I don't even like Travis Scott that much. Trust me, none of his songs showed up on my top 100 on my Spotify. And I haven't listened to a Travis Scott song since the f***ing event. But this concert is so legendary. It got me so hyped about his music and game. And this concert showed up for five days. It had five showings. So, if you wanted to, you could have experienced this masterpiece five times. And man, you know I definitely did. But hey, that's just my opinion at the end of the day. And granted, I'm super goddamn passionate about that opinion. I'm still down to listen to your guys' views. I can't, no! Screw you guys! This concert is freaking amazing, and nobody can say otherwise! You hear me? Travis Scott's concert is second to none!